What's up guys? Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we're going to talk about the five ways to get free licenses and even hardware for your home lab so it doesn't cost you a lot of money. We all know the barrier to entry when people uh, want to start a home lab is licensing cost, the expensive hardware, and also just not knowing where to start. So if this is your first time to IT Security Labs, please like and subscribe. I do post this content regularly, twice a week, and uh, you will find it valuable. This video is for those people that are interested in setting up their own home lab and also to do it for cheap. So I'll share with you the five tips that I've used to actually have free hardware and free licenses, everything that you see in my lab is fully licensed and actually I did not pay for a single license that I use in my home lab. There are very few ways that you can use. So without wasting time, let's start with the hardware. How do you get cheap or free hardware? The one way that I've actually managed to finish my lab, especially for networking, is using Cisco Meraki equipment. Meraki does have this uh, offer right now that they're offering to say, if you attend a webinar, as you can see here, you'll be able to receive a free device. This is only for those who qualify and also for those uh, you have to adhere by their uh, terms and conditions. So I did get my Meraki MX device from them and I'll just sign into my Meraki account right now just to show you guys what it looks like. So as you can see guys, this is my Meraki dashboard. This is my uh, organization. I can even drill down into it. I can even drill down into it and it will show you that it's a functional working environment. So if you want free hardware, especially for networking, try to attend the Meraki uh, webinars they have one for every device. So for APs, you attend a webinar for an AP. For an uh, MX device, you attend a webinar for an MX device. Or if you want a switch, attend a webinar for a switch. You do have to be a working professional in the IT field. And if you're eligible, they'll contact you and send you the device. That's the one way you can get free hardware. Otherwise, other vendors like Mist Systems also offer uh, free hardware. If you cannot qualify for the Meraki devices, I highly suggest PFSense. Just download PFSense as a firewall for your house or for your lab. This, is, this can be virtualized or you can even install it in a virtual machine. So make sure that you actually look at PFSense. The second way that I have actually used to get free software is using Linux KVM. KVM is great for those who want to learn Linux and also to just uh, virtualize things. Just go to their website and download KVM. You'll be able to virtualize almost everything and the community is great. So you just look into it. If you are not interested in KVM, you can use Proxmox. Proxmox is very, very helpful. I have it in my lab. I can show you guys today, but it's in the same room that I'm recording this video. It was making a lot of noise, so I'll show you guys in the next video uh, what the interface looks like. It's great. Just look into it. Otherwise, you can also go and download VMware. So that's uh, for your hypervisor. Now let's move to operating systems. For operating systems, I believe in the Microsoft Evaluation Center. If you don't want to buy a license, you can get 180 days licenses of most Microsoft products. Just come to the Evaluation Center and download whatever you need. 180 days is plenty and you can renew this three times. So you do 180 by three. So this is plenty for anyone who wants to test and also have a so that's for the Microsoft. Otherwise, I use open source. I may exclusively send OS unless if I have to. So you can always use send OS as your servers. As you can see in my lab here, I'm running 
a combination of those. This Grafana right here is running in Ubuntu, but Elk is CentOS, and all these metrics and other data collector VMs, they're all Linux CentOS device. That takes us to the third way you can get free software. For monitoring, I like Grafana. As you can see here, Grafana is really great for monitoring your enterprise. So if you really like Grafana, just go ahead and search for Grafana on your Google browser. So this is a Grafana site. You can go and read more about them. And I also have a bunch of videos on how to set it up on my channel. So if you like to visualize your environment, if you want to monitor everything in your lab, this is the software to go to. For backups, you can always uh, get Vim for free. If you have a home lab, you can get resale license for free, as you can see right here. So if you want to create proper backups in your lab, this is the software. So those were the four ways that you can get free software. And I saved the best for last is joining the VMware vExpert pro program. As you can see right here, I have an application for 2019. If you're interested in the VMware VXWIT program, you should go ahead and sign up right now. They actually haven't opened the applications, but you should check to see when they open. They are all usually open in uh, November, late November, and uh, sometime in June or July. So make sure you apply, and this is why. The expert members get free licenses. As you can see, I have all these full working licenses from VMware because I'm a VMware VExpert. You can read on their blog how to become one, but this is what I have. I can use any of these licenses for 400 days. Otherwise, there is also other benefits to becoming a VMware v expert because you get all those softwares that I was showing you guys for free. For example, you get a free plural site subscription. This is what plural site is. It's a site that teaches you any skills that you need. This is the homepage of Pluralsight. As you can see, guys, it's a wonderful site. By just becoming a VMware VExpert program, you get a place where you can learn your skills and lab those skills in your lab. The second best thing that you can get is Ravelo. Ravelo is one of the best platforms out there. <laughs> On Ravelo, you can go and actually spin up any environment that you want for free. You can have vSphere, you can have a test environment for penetration testing. Just to give you a glimpse of it, this is what I've been doing with it. As, as you can see here, these are the applications that I've been spinning on Ravelo. I, I just recently got my CCNP and I did spin a bunch of routers in Ravelo, as you can see right here. This was my CCNP lab on the cloud, not even at my house. And this was this comes free, as you can see right here, free VXPET account from VMware. I also have a full environment that I'm actually running right now. As you can see, these two virtual machines are running. And to sign into a virtual machine, you just do a console and as you can see, I'm already on my virtual machine. As you can see, I'm running a server 2012R2 in the cloud. This is using Autolab, which I'll cover in a different series on my channel. So if you want that, go ahead and subscribe. So this is Ravelo for you. You can spin up any application, any machines. I have a PFSense router. I have Lucky Labs hosted virtual machines right here, as you can see. This is just a wonderful platform. You can visualize it. There are also other wonderful benefits and free software that you can get by being a VF, expert. And this is the list. As you can see, I can scroll down. I use Pluralsight, like I said. I've used Starwind, Virtual SAN. It's wonderful. I use SolarWinds. As you can see, I'll show you right now. This SolarWinds that you're looking at that I use in my lab environment is free through the VMware VXPET program. Just to show you that it's actually a real uh, environment, I'll just sign in and as you can see, SolarWinds, Login Events Manager, any SolarWinds product you get for free. So if that doesn't sell you guys to apply to the VMware VXPET program, they haven't, they are not paying me for this. I'm just 
impressed by the program and I wish somebody had told me about this information when I first started. So if you're interested, please go ahead and apply this year and any other year that you, they actually uh, have this information. And I will have links in the description below. So that's it, guys. Those are the five ways that you can have free software in your lab. If you have any questions, please let me know in the description below. Otherwise, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video where I'll be uh, addressing more and more of this stuff. So see you guys later.